Portugal are on the cusp of making the knockout stage. Ever since the groups were announced, this is where they wanted to be, and indeed felt they ought to be. There is a sense of genuine theatre here. The loyal supporters hope it is all going to be wrapped up in the next couple of hours. Three points will guarantee that they get their wish. And nobody in this atmosphere can hide from the truth about how much this game matters. The scene overflows with colour and passion. The crowd rises for the national anthem of Portugal. Well, that has got the juices flowing, and now this. Portugal are utterly focused and determined. They know how much this means. Well, Peter, there's good pressure and bad, but this leans very much to the former, and a big chance to take everything on a level. These players have to embrace and, and tackle the task ahead with the courage and confidence they've grown for a time like this. I expect them... Now the finish! Oh, so close to what would have been a memorable goal. Oh, after such a great run, I'm expecting him to go all the way, and instead, he just lost his way. this turns on Jim this guy Joe Cancelo will be key Peter I think okay he might not be the strongest defensively but his pace his crossing the creativity he shows higher up the pitch all of those are, are second to none especially the way he exploits those half spaces to find telling passes it more than makes up for the odd defensive wobble yeah he'll certainly be leaving his mark on this game quite possibly actually at both ends has a shot well, that wasn't too dissimilar to the previous attempt. They're just lacking a cutting edge, Peter. And while that's fairly obvious, the rest of their attacking play is actually quite good. sequence of passes this as well to stand firm and defend it Ruben Levers charging forward the ball at his feet and he's quick to snatch it back couldn't squeeze it through Portugal replying all the early pressure I know it's still early but they're showing the better signs no caution from them and here's Cristiano Ronaldo well, that defending is unapologetically persistent. It's almost personal. And it had to be. Picked out brilliantly. Loose ball now, and there's a chase on to retrieve it. Just not quite happening for him just now. Portugal really are in the ascendancy here, and they know they have to register while that's the case. Portugal with the corner, their first. Turkey can start a counter here. Rafael Leal, he's going for goal! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Well, the work rate to win the ball back was fantastic and had set up the opportunity. That's great effort. Chalanolu, Kukchu. So it is still nil-nil. Driving forward. There they go, hunting again. 
Well, that's a foul, and the whistle's gone. And that's going to be a booking. He's gone for goal! A real chance and a real let-off. Turkey really have been deserted by their composure and allowed frustration to take over, and it's not a good sign. Brunal, and it's Chalhanolu, and he has been fouled there, well he knows very well that he is already walking a tightrope, just a talking to I think, yes it is, well he's asking for trouble Peter, and with this urge to, to nibble away, I think the ref is spelling it out for him now. It's a loose ball. Cristiano Ronaldo. Victory now would mean so much. And once more he proves rigid and robust. Away from immediate danger. Well, that tackle was certainly sturdy. Stood up well to him there. Oh, it's a sweet ball that. Unal. Ottavio. And it's Ruben Neves. Nice interception. His positioning was spot on. Challenge just a bit on the firm side. Rafael Leal. Ruben Neves. 15 minutes till half time. It's Bernardo Silva. Cristiano Ronaldo. Now it's Rafael Leal. And they can counter here. Under Ushkan that'll do under the circumstances and that interception was most necessary Joao Palinha and it's Cristiano Ronaldo Oh, he's caught him there, it's a free kick. Well, that looks like a final warning, still no card. Just too high. The moans and groans are predictable. He felt compelled to try. It looked as though that might lead to something quite promising, but it turned out that that was not the case. Now, what about a counter-attack? Unal. Ottavio. That pass isn't the best. Sunchu. Bernardo Silva. Uh, that's been intercepted. Kajolu. To Aktukolu. 
Well, that had the makings of something quite promising, but it's fizzled out into nothing. Now it's Unal. Rafael Leao. That's headed upfield. Kukchu. Now it's Only Unal. Three minutes at a time. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Back into the middle. Oh, he's taken out. That'll be a foul. Kukchu. Cristiano Ronaldo. Joao Palinha. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Joao Hanolu. And that'll be the last act of the first half. Well, there it is, half-time. Not a bad watch by any means. And the efforts of both sides have been good, but neither have been able to penetrate. And so we reach the break, and the game remains goals. Some first-half thoughts. Yeah, it's a half that's had a, a limp finish after a decent start, so the manager has to re-energise and re-enthuse his players to come back out pumped. Portugal head to the dressing room, not yet having broken through. Tight cagey game. Neither the team any further forward than they were when they started out. And if just... Can he finish? It's off target and by quite a way. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looks the harder thing to do. Shalhanolu. Sunchu. Bernardo Silva. Well seen. Saw that coming. Celic pinches it off him. Oh, good read. Shalhanolu. Little doubt. That is a foul. It's a straight red. He has been given his marching orders. Well, there may be some scope for debate over the seriousness of the offence, but none over its repercussions. They'll have to see out the rest of the game with ten men. And that is as far as they're going to go. Oh, what a pass! Can he put it away? Oh, surely that deserved better. It didn't quite come off on this occasion, but it only needs a gentle tweak. Well, it looked promising for a moment, but it came to nothing. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. It's Cristiano Ronaldo! Oh, that was a brilliant save. Really looked sharp there, didn't he? That's very well played. Ruben Neves under intense pressure. Look, stopping him is imperative. It may not eliminate trouble, but it'll reduce it. And now the breakaway. Demiral. Still absolutely nothing to report here, goals-wise. It's a good foot in there. And he's there to retrieve it. And here's Cristiano. Cristiano Ronaldo! Denied by an instinctive save. I think he's done great there, both reading it and dealing with it. Portugal have their second corner now. Well, he certainly wasn't in the mood to take any risks. Joao Palinha. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo really needed to concentrate on protecting the ball. Then again, shot a goal! A potential goal of the season contender, if only. Rafael Leao can really show some outlandish skills, which is always welcome and obviously refreshing.
Celic. Passing is crisp and sharp. Oh, the movement is slick, the speed is slippery. The defence, though, able to hold on this time. Well, the further he went, the more attention he attracted. There was just way too much pressure for him to get the shot away. And he was quick to react. He's in plenty of space here. It's a pretty loose pass. Now then, the ball's come loose. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, he's managed to get himself offside. Time then for the first substitution of the game. Substitution for Turkey. Number 17, Hunder. Number 7, coming on the field. Number 21, number 8. And he's forced to go back. Portugal couldn't really be more watertight in midfield. Not a trickle is getting through. He's got away. They're urging him. And the shot! Right there! All goals are welcome, but when they come at a time like that, they're priceless. And that really is so, so impressive. Oh, that's wonderful to see. The run was explosive. The finish, exquisite. The goal score for Portugal after 74 minutes is number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo. Portugal have their opener. It is a goal of real significance. Well, look, you've got to start your qualification process at some stage, Peter, and, and that goal is takeoff for them. Portugal clearly have been instructed to kill this off. Offence is the best form of defence. And the two sides separated by the game's only breakthrough moment to this point, and the score is 1-0. Of Chu. No, no way through there. Well, that is one way to stop him. No, that's been intercepted. Well, this lead is tight, but it does look as though it may see them through. Portugal are closing in on qualification for the knockout stage. Now it's Bernardo Silva. Now it's Otavio. Portugal still ahead by the game's only goal. A lot of space here, a real opportunity. Ooh. Perfectly measured that. Oh, what a ball he's in here! He's beaten the offs. Cabezzi! Well, now it's a race for the ball. I thought it was going to happen then. How many more chances can they realistically expect now? And he's got the big, big chance! And that is wildly off target. Substitution for Turkey, number nine. Turkey are Ula. able now to make their substitution. The it's been on the cards for uh, a few moments 26. now. Yildirim prepared to come on now. Of course, a big bullier of defences. Well, why complicate matters, Peter? You need a goal as quickly as possible, and it could very well work with him in the lineup. Excellent challenge there, uncompromising. Minute has been indicated. Ronaldo was alert to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. In with the challenge. Ruben Neves. Now it's Rafael Leao. Soon Ju gets across to intercept that. Time added on four minutes. Looking for options for movement. He is through here. Chalanolu. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Portugal have done it. They have come through the group stage and now line up alongside the knockout elite. The end of the game. Reflections.
Early qualification is always a good bonus. They've shown resilience and strength and have all the essentials to go on a lengthy cup run. It's all looking pretty good for them. Well, that's it for tonight's match. So it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside me and to wish you all a very good evening. This is a hard one to take, but we'll be back soon.